Now at six, new developments tonight in a shooting at a Jones County apartment complex. How neighbors feel about the violence straight ahead. Plus, it's Wildfire Awareness Month. Safety tips when you plan to burn outside. Coming up. And it was a beautiful afternoon across the area. Will this weather continue into your Memorial Day weekend? Well, we got the answers in a few minutes, but your news at 6 starts right now. This evening, WDAM 7 News is proud to be on your side. With WDAM 7 News at 6. Up first at 6 o'clock, a Jones County shooting suspect is behind bars thanks to a tip in the latest Lone Oaks apartment shooting investigation. Welcome in. I'm Michael Clark. And I'm Carrie Leggett Brown. Jones County Sheriff's Department tell us, tells us that 22 year old Jashawn Solomon, known as Big Cali, was taken into custody at the complex this afternoon. Solomon was charged with aggravated assault in connection to the shooting a Wednesday morning that injured one person. A 29 year old man was shot in the pelvis and foot during the incident and taken to South Central Regional Medical Center. Solomon was taken to the Jones County Adult Detention Center and will be held there until his initial appearance in Jones County Justice Court. Well, more neighbors in the Hoy community are reaching out to us with concerns about continued gun violence. Complaints come on the heels of a shooting at an apartment complex that has been the scene of similar crimes in the past. Our Cam Benelli spoke with residents about their worries tonight. Homeowners on Hoy Road across from Lone Oaks Apartments have bullet holes in their homes, cars and belongings and say they constantly live in fear. Neighbors tell us it's a problem that's been going on for years. Just since March, resident Cynthia Darby says they've experienced three drive-by shootings. We've had our houses reinforced, our doors reinforced, security alarms put up, lights put up. We did everything we could possibly do to make it secure over here. Bethany Moffitt says the gun violence has done more than $89,000 worth of damage to her property, but more than that, it's almost cost the life of a family member. My nine-year-old was asleep on the couch when bullets come into my RV and into my house. The bullet was this much, this much, and it went slam over her. If she would have stayed up, she would have been dead. Another resident, Kevin Burke, says when they do call law enforcement about shootings, the response time is slow. This gun violence stuff is ridiculous. I have never seen nothing like they said to where it takes police so long to get out here. We spoke to the Jones County Sheriff's Department about the complaints in the area. Investigator Abraham McKenzie says about four deputies work per shift, but they cover a 700 square mile area. Uh, and people really don't realize how massive Jones County is uh, as a county landmass wise. And uh, sometimes it takes us a long time to get there because deputies are actually working some el something else and we are spread all out. McKenzie says communication is crucial from the community to solve crimes. I mean, these are. Uh, crime scenes that we go to, many times we go up, people don't want to talk to us for whatever reason that it may be. But, you know, the, the community needs to know we actually need their help in order to solve these crimes. Community members just want the violence to end. We're having too much shooting, killing, and it's, it's just done got to the point that we are all getting to be afraid to go outside now. In Jones County, Cam Benelli, WDAM7, on your side. Now, if you have any information on a crime that can help investigators, you can always call Jones County Crime Stoppers. That number is 601-428-7867. Remember, you can remain anonymous. All right, now let's turn things over to our first alert weather team. All right, Patrick, what do we need to know about this beautiful day? Low humidity. What else can we expect for this evening? Yeah, the rest of this evening is going to be nice as well. The temperatures are going to fall and that low humidity is going to stick around for the next several days. It's going to be some good news for everybody who has plans uh, with the upcoming uh, Memorial Day weekend. Let's go ahead and start off with a live look at what's going on right now uh, out at the campus of USM. 84 degrees as we look off towards the south, back towards Highway uh, 49 and Hardy Street. Of course, Forest General Hospital in the distance there. Beautiful afternoon. Uh, uh, and we made it up into the mid 80s today. Our high was 86, which puts us about average for this time of the year. But it's not that high temperature the reason why it feels so good. It's, it's like what Carrie said. It's the low humidity. And as you can see, the muggy meter, the proof is in the pudding right there. Look at that. 
Dew points in the 50s, almost unheard of for this time of the year. It truly feels great out there at the moment. And that, like I said, like I said, the low humidity sticks around for the next several days. 84 in Hub City right now. Laurel's at 82. It's 83 in Clara, 82 in Bassfield, and 84 in Poplarville. Temperatures will fall into the 70s this evening. We'll have much more coming up in a few minutes. All right, thank you so much, Patrick. Well, it's another big day for Southern Miss baseball. It sure is. The Golden Eagles are hoping to stay alive at the Sunbelt Conference Tournament today. Our sports director, Taylor Curette, is live at the game in Montgomery where USM is taking on Troy. Taylor, what's the latest there from the park? We are in the midst of a good baseball game here between Troy and Southern Miss. The Golden Eagles just moments ago took the lead 2-1 to one off of a... Dustin Dickerson RBI single, Matthew Etzel with the first run of the game with an RBI single that plated Nick Monastere. It's 2-1 Southern Miss. Billy Oldham on the bump for the Golden Eagles. Already five strikeouts for him. He's managing things well. And Southern Miss right now, 2-1 lead. They got a couple men on. So things are happening for Southern Miss here at the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. They're trying to stay in that winner's bracket. A win today means they're going to play on Saturday in the semifinals. We'll have much more on USM a little bit later. For now, I'm reporting from Montgomery. Guys, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Taylor, thanks for that update. Well, you can play a round of golf while helping some Southern Miss students raise money for a good cause this holiday weekend. You can be part of the inaugural Sigma Chi Golf Classic at Shadow Ridge Golf Course in Hattiesburg Saturday. The event is a fundraiser for research at the Huntsman Cancer Institute. That's in Utah. It'll also bring in funds for the associate chapter of Sigma Chi fraternity at USM. There's still time to register to participate. We have 60, about 60 slots filled out of 100. So it's uh, you can come Saturday and sign up that morning. It's $75 a player or for a team of four, $290. 18 holes, four man scramble. It'll be a shotgun start. We have two raffles going for a William Henry knife uh, sponsored by Paris Jewelers and then a signed basketball by Jay Ladner. And Jay Ladner will also be speaking at opening ceremonies. The tee off is at 830 in the morning. Well, in dry or drought conditions, most people would think twice before burning outdoors. But what about burning any other time? Our Hannah Hayes has some outdoor burning tips you may want to consider. Summer's pastime, being outdoors, enjoying fun and freedom, games and gardening. Sometimes it means burning that brush that you clean out of your garden. Nine out of 10 wildfires in the state of Mississippi are human caused errors. So we just want to make sure that we, with this wildfire awareness month, that everybody's being prepared just in case we do get in a drought condition in the summer. Keeping track of the weather each week is one easy way you can prevent the spread of fires throughout the summer. Just because the forecast calls for rain does not mean it's okay to burn before the storm hits. Just make sure you're watching your local weather. If there looks like there's going to be a thunderstorm come through, you might not want to burn right then, even though that you're thinking that it's going to be wet. You might not want to burn because with a thunderstorm front, normally comes high winds right before that thunderstorm gets here. May is Wildfire Awareness Month. It's designed to not only make sure you're aware of the dangers in wildfires, but to make sure you know how to prevent them. Just make sure that they're not burning on any windy days, um, that they're watching their burn bands, that they're not burning on extremely dry or drought conditions. So we just want to make sure that they're burning in the right conditions and uh, not burning when it's too dry or too windy. Just because it's May and most days are humid doesn't mean that a wildfire can't start. It's important to remember the ways to prevent wildfires. We want to keep in the forefront of everybody's mind to, you know, always be preventative of wildfires. Make sure that, uh, you know, we can have wildfires year round here in the state of Mississippi. So we always want to keep it in the forefront of everybody's mind to be aware to prevent the wildfires. In the Pine Belt, Hannah Hayes, WDAM7, on your side. And for more information on Wildfire Prevention Month from FEMA, visit WDAM.com. All right, still ahead at 6 o'clock, a salute to fallen heroes. We're remembering a Hattiesburg soldier killed overseas during Operation Iraqi Freedom. His family's message ahead of Memorial Day. That's next. And what can you expect for your Memorial Day weekend? Well, we're going to break it all down for you coming up right after the break.